Hiya Dave, great to meet you up at the range last night and do some work on your game. Uh, as promised, just a quick recap on the key points that we covered during your session. Uh, the first thing we looked at was your original setup position. Uh, this can best be described here at the start of the session as having the ball forward and the handle back. Whenever the ball's forward and the handle's back, we're setting ourselves for a very upward hit on the ball. And any time we hit up on the ball, so in other words, any time we hit the golf ball after the low point, we're also swinging to the left. So the feeling I then gave you, what I asked you to do on this footage, uh, on the bottom left, was feel like the ball was in the middle of the stance and feel like the handle was further forward. Just going to get rid of that red line on that one and I'll put it on the shoulder again. We talked about just as a benchmark position early on, try and position the ball tee a little bit lower. That's going to encourage you to put the ball just a touch more back in your stance. And then also feeling that the ball's back and the handle's forward. Now we talked about the ball being two balls in from zero point, zero point being the left shoulder. Uh, that's the centre of the swing that you make. You can see though the ball is more towards the badge on your shirt, just for the short term. We might move that forward as you become better uh, keeping the arms in, which is the next segment of the lesson. So ball back, handle forward. This now allows us to hit the golf ball on or just before low point. And any time we're hitting the golf ball on the, on the back side of the circle rather than the front side of the circle, then we're hitting it with a slightly descending blow and a downward hit is also an outward hit. So hitting up on the golf ball, how do we get from the inside if we're doing that? We're going to have to align ourselves a long way right. So just get rid of those lines again. Difference between the two setups, top left and bottom left, uh, we've got the handle back and the ball forward versus the ball back and the handle forward. So that's an appropriate setup from which to hit a draw. What we're now going to look at is the path that the hands and the arms take during the downswing. Your arms work very much out due to the quick rotation of the body. So there's too much turning on the way down, too much unwinding of the body. That's pulling the club and the arms out towards the target line too quickly. You can see the the right heel popping up now, a sign that a player's rotated too quick and is now trying to extend or stand up to prevent the club going further and further outside the line. So what we've got is a situation where we've stood up too quickly, as can be seen by the right heel, and we've also rotated the body excessively from the top. Club very much outside the hands at that point, perfect for pulling it and hitting a fade stroke slice. The feel we want is that the hands and the arms stay in more. You can see when that happens, the right heel doesn't pop up quite as much. The arms are in more at this point. The shaft is much shallower. The shaft is now inside the hands rather than out in front of the hands. And there's less dramatic clearing of the hips as you're coming into the golf ball, as can be seen by that comparison right there. So that's the feel and the drill that you want to work on is what we can see here with the right foot drawn back. This is going to help retard the amount the body can rotate during the downswing. We can see at this early stage there's already been a slight change in the condition of the shaft at that point. Much less, excuse that line, much less steep and on the shoulder much shallower and through the middle of the right arm. From there we've just got to get familiar with that position. You can see the difference between where you started, doing the feel, and where you ended. So there's a definite trend here, the club's starting to work in more. So keep doing the drill, keep working on the feel. Key thoughts, ball back, handle forward, and keep the arms in during the downswing. Well done, I look forward to charting your progress over the coming weeks.